Welcome to episode 1362, Joko Susanto, from grade one dropout to mini market billionaire from Indonesia. This is an outline of episode 1362. Berkat kita punya ketekunan, akhirnya kita bisa bangkit kembali dan juga dalam waktu ya relatif singkat. He was born in 1950 to poor Chinese family in Jakarta, Indonesia. Grew up six out of ten children and dropped out grade one. From age 17, he was helping his parents run a five food store. In 1976, he suffered a disaster when his store was burned down. He has to start new. Then he started a cigarette store, and in five years, he attracted the attention of tobacco tycoon Putera Zamponerna. Together, they started a discount supermarket chain. Distinction between entrepreneurship in a Muslim country and a developed country like U.S., for instance. No, I mean uh, entrepreneurship is, is is the ability to to find some new demand in the market. And you know, depending, people always talk about entrepreneurship as the Bill Gates that come out with something new technology or some new science. But I think there's, you know, it could be a new product. It could be just a different type of organization. It could could be a sales organization. Terra sold his business to Philip Morris in 2005, and Susanto bought the retail business and developed it into Alpha Mart chain. Indonesia's convenience store market. 7-Eleven had 190 stores in the country, but its competitor store count absolutely squashed that. As of 2017, there were more than 10,000 Alpha Marts and roughly 15,000 Indo Marts in Indonesia, giving Alpha Mart a 38% share of the market and Indo Marit 47%. That was the year 7-Eleven closed all of its shops, but before that, it held just 0.7% of the market. 2003, he founded University Bunda Mulia. In 2018, he diversified into real estate, finished building the Alpha Group Tower near Jakarta Airport. Part two: The Five Lessons of Joko Susanto. Lesson one: No education. He dropped out of school, grade one. Got to be one of the least educated billionaire on earth. Lesson two: sharp intuition and focus. This is his advice for others going into business. Lesson three: bounce back from disaster. His business in Pasar Juna was burned down in 1976. He was 26 years old and he had to start from zero again. And four, find a rich partner. He found a rich partner in Putera Sampoerna, who inherited Clove Cigarette from his parents. Together, they made each other a lot richer. And five, taking risks into the unknown. First, diving into tobacco. Second, taking on Seven Eleven in Indonesia. Third, expanding into the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.